the heinous killing of a 90-year-old equidente at Scafaba in the Savannah region in July for the tainted Ghana's human rights record internationally. Several human rights groups called on the government to act swiftly to protect the lives of vulnerable aged women often subjected to torture in the name of alleged witchcraft. The gender ministry initially declared that it was closing all the camps soon after the killing of the 90-year-old woman of alleged witchcraft went viral. But it suddenly backtracked on that move due to strong opposition from the cross-section of the public who advocated for proper assessment of the situation before such an action. This is why the Parliamentary Select Committee on Gender and Social Protection paid a visit for the first time in August this year to the camps dotted around the northern part of the country to acquaint themselves with the reality. Four months later in November, the Minister of Gender has returned to the camps, announcing steps it has taken to improve the condition of the inmates. At the Gambaga camp, where the ministry first visited, the inmates smiled for the first time. Since the coronavirus hit the country, as donations were not forthcoming, leaving the women in distress. The minister presented assorted items including foodstuffs, mattresses and pieces of wax prints as Christmas hampers and cut the sword for the construction of a mechanized borehole for the inmates. We are here today, as promised, to deliver the necessary support per your consent. The supports include money, construction of mechanized boreholes for the other camps in the northern region, establishment of a corn mill provision, establishment of a corn mill, provision of food staff, valid national health insurance card, mattresses and pillows and extra. All other things that will make your life comfortable. The camp's only source of water had been a rain harvesting reservoir constructed by the Presbyterian Church through a Canadian philanthropic organization. The minister said due to reintegration challenges, the inmates at the camps fear to go back to their communities as stress of violence and stigmatization are still rife in typical communities, and the inmates therefore see the camps as a safe refuge. However, living in the camps comes with its own challenges. The minister outlines government's new strategy to deal with the phenomenon of witchcraft accusations in the country. There are current poor sanitation conditions and access to water. Supply will be improved. Mechanized bowels will be provided to all the alleged witch camps. Also, the residents will receive psychosocial support from the Department of Social Welfare. For the long term, we will take steps to disband the camps and reintegrate the residents to their communities. The disbandment will be preceded by engagement with the stakeholders of the respective communities. The deputy of East Regional Minister, Tahiru Tia, says unlike other camps where the inmates are excluded from the neighborhood, the Gambaga camp is integrated in the community as the people live in harmony with their ostracized women. For the alleged witches, the felt Christmas came early for them.